Hi everyone, this is Sunny from Database Tech. So today I had come up with one more new session on SQL Server Database. In today's session, I will explain some of the SQL Server functions, which are if, call escape, is null, is numeric, and null if. So let's do them one by one practically in SQL Server. For that, let's open SQL Server first. Now here, before we start, let's pull out the data from a table name as employee details. So let's execute this query. And to execute the query, what we do, select the query and click on execute. You can see we have the below output from this table in which we have columns like ID, name, grade, salary, and place. And this is the existing table that we have from the database name is master. Now let's understand when to use if function and for that let me give you one scenario. Now suppose from the salary column in this table what we need is if salary is greater than 6000 then it should display the salary as good and if it is less than 6000 then it should display the salary as average. So this is our requirement which we have to do and how we can achieve this we can achieve this using if function so let's do this so what will be the syntax select if so what is our column name it is salary so we'll give the column as salary if salary is less than 6000 then it should display the salary as average and if it is not then it should display the salary as good from table name what's table name it is employee details so this will be the query to get this functionality now let's execute this query and to execute the query what we do select the query and click on execute you can see the first row it is saying as average because here the salary is less than 6000 and if you want to check if you want to compare what we can do we can execute these queries together now if you will see the first is 3000 which is less than 6000 and it is now average the second row it is 8000 which is greater than 6000 and the condition is not satisfying so it will come as good which is the second value that we had given in this if condition so that's why it is good and same for the third row it is good because salary is not less than 6000 so it is equal to 6000 which means again the condition is not satisfying and so that's why it has given the salary as good and for the fourth row salary is less than 6000 so it has given us average this is how the if condition work now moving to next that is call escape so let's see how call escape work what is the syntax select call escape c o a l you have to remember you have to break this if you don't remember this what you can do first you have to write call that is c o a l and then escape e s c then in the end you have to type as e which will make this call escape now what we do here first Let's give some number like 3000 and then it is null value and then again it is 4000 then it is null. Now what it will give us, it will give us the first not null value. So what's that? It is 3000. So that's why it will give us 3000 as a return. Execute, it has given us 3000 which is expected. Uh, if you will remove this here 3000 now what it will give us the first not null value what's that 
this is 40,000 because the first is null it will give us the second value. Let us execute this. You can see it is giving us 40,000. So, call escape gives us the first not null value. Moving to next one that is is null. So, let us see when to use is null function. Select is null we will give it null and then we can make it sunny. Now, what this mean? What return it will give us? Let us first execute this. It is giving us sunny. It is checking if the first value that we are providing to this is null function is null, then it will give us this value that we had given here. And if it is not null, then it will give us the expression that is here. Now, here the first value is null. So, that is why it is checking like, okay, is null, which means is this value null? Yes, it is null. So, it is giving us sunny. And if it is not null, then it will give us the same value that is here. Now, what we do here, copy this. Now, here, we will make it sunny and then here we will change this null and sunny is a character value because SQL does not understand what it is. So, we had given this in x drops. Now, execute this first we will execute this. So, it is giving us sunny which is expected. Now, here it will give us the expression which is the first parameter that we had provided to this function. You can see it is giving us sunny. So, it is checking if the first value is null, give us this value and if it is not null, give us the first expression which we have seen from this query. Now, coming to next function that is is numeric. So, it will check whether the input that we are providing is numeric or not is numeric. If we will provide the value as some character value, it will give us 0. It will give us 0, which means the value which we are passing to this function is not numeric. And when we are passing some numeric value, it will give us 1, which means the input provided is the numeric value, which means like if we are not passing the numeric value to this function, it will display, it will give us the value as 0. And if you are providing the numeric value, then it will provide us the 1. Now, moving to next, that is null if. So, let us see how to use this null if function. Select null if it is null and if only one if. Now, we will provide here 2 and 2. So, what it will give us? Let us say first. It is giving us null. And let us change the value and make it 3. Now, here, sorry, okay, we had again selected multiple, it is giving us 2. What this means? When we are passing 2, it is giving us null. And when we are not, it means when, so what is the null if doing? it checks the value that we are passing to this function. If both the values are matching, then it will give us null. If it is not matching, if we will make this 4, right now the values are not matching, so it will give us 4, the first expression. Okay, But if we will make this 4, it will give us null. You can see 
if the values are matching so it will give us null if it is not matching then it will give us the first expression 4 so this is how these functions works so that was it for today's session we'll come up with the next session shortly till then have a nice day bye bye take care be happy be healthy and love your family bye bye